Yeah. Hi, Manu. Yeah, I have broken Subnautica, so I'm gonna work out what to play today instead. Hoi, Killy. <laughs> I've not got Fortnite installed at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. So... I shall leave this plane in the background. But we've got... All the Dark Souls games. I could play some more Revengeance, the Silly Cyborg one, or Too Human, the game that's not supposed to exist. Cyberpunk is dying horribly. Um, I could play some Destiny 2, but I have not done any of this season's story stuff or anything. Um, Got For Honor or Killer Instinct if you want me to try and beat up other players. Or if you want like silly music and stuff, I can play Devil May Cry, which I've been playing on the Discord as well. Should we try some Destiny then? Right. Because I've not done any of this new season stuff, so it'll all be brand new to me as well. So we'll do some Destiny. I have not played any of this current season. Why is it not planning Destiny 2 on the Twitch games? There. I played Lords of Destiny up until the last season. It's just the current season I've not played any of. Like, I still jump on and do Gambit and stuff like that every now and then and go through the story stuff. Can you hear about the game, by the way? I know this intro bit's a bit quiet on it. Yeah, I used to love Crucible as well. It used to be me and a couple of Russian guys I knew. And all three of us would run through Crucible doing stupid stuff. Usually me with a scout rifle. One of those two would be on his hunter with a shotgun. And he'd always play the... The Night Stalker spec that let you go invisible. So here are my characters when they decide to load. I have my Titan with his messed up armor. I have my Warlock with his fancy Cyber Frost stuff. And my Hunter who is my main character. So he has all the Dead Orbit stuff because I really like Dead Orbit. <laughs> I did before. Is it before Christmas? Wanted or not is all they understand, and so we taught them 
But yeah, one of the bets I lost ages ago was to make one of those stupid um, compilation videos, and there's a few clips of me playing Crucible in that. There's one of me one-shotting a titan who was hiding behind his shield, and I popped him in the head as he was jumping out to do his super. I do like the expansion of the powers they've done with this as well. Because we can now wield the darkness, which I will show you, because I've got that unlocked. Oh, the, um... The fire one. Uh, Hi, <gasps> Tempsey. So I was supposed to be playing Subnautica, but I've spent like the last half an hour. Um, trying to get it working again. And it's not, so I've jumped on Destiny instead. Uh, yeah, Subnautica keeps crashing, unloading the world. And this isn't a bug, they are actually really, really quiet. Oh no, wait. The cutscene has bugged out. I can hear him walking, but... No talking, apparently. It might be the save file, but I do have a couple of backups. So I'll need to retrieve the backups and try it. So this is Keitel, who is Emperor Callus' daughter. Yeah, so everything else works, it's just the voices have stopped working in this cutscene, apparently. Hi, Dave. Right. Ah, so we're being chucked straight into a battle battleground. So I've got Seventh Seraphon. Um, adored. Whop adored out. Gimme. Yeah, give me the Achilos. Oh, in fact, I'll leave Adored on. Closely, daughter, Empress Keitel has arrived in our system, hoping to reunify the Cabal Empire. We've spotted an Imperial land tank tearing through Nessus. Ikora thinks it has something to do with Keitel's efforts. I want boots on the ground for a closer look. I will put the Darkness subclass on as well so you can all see it. Tank is ahead. Break their front line and get 
Oh, there's a bunch of players in this. So there's my fancy new grenade that basically creates an ice wall. If I catch something in it, it freezes it in place. And then we have shurikens. Although they're not as good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Go away now. So for now we're just beat up the cabal. Stupid anime sword still works. Ball are everywhere at the moment. You know what? I'm not that far off my super. I will use it as soon as I can so you can see it. But the darkness based stuff is actually quite cool. Anime sword. Can I do anything with this? Nope. There we go. I think we just have to keep killing these guys until they stop coming. There's another boss one over there. And there's my darkness super. Basically trap him in a miniature blizzard. Ooh, heavy ammo. Enough for our scouts to determine what Keitel is planning. And perhaps 
get justice for the guardians he sent to their final deaths. So now we're going to fight a boss, it seems like. Whether we wanted it or not, we've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command, one by one. Valastelk. From what I can gather he commands the siege dancers from an Imperial land tank outside of Rubicon. He's well protected, but with the right team, we can punch through those defenses, take this beast out, and break their grip on freehold. You would inevitable want to be a post that eventually. You look like a boss man. Froze him as well. <laughs> yeah, the um the spec I'm playing with this character as well is designed for like burning down bosses. What do I do? Do I just slam it? Yep. Oh, he tried to dodge it. Yeah, luckily this thing throws two parts, and the one that freezes him is the second. So, I just had to get close enough to it. Yeah, always loved Hunter. I got one of each character, but Hunter's always been my favourite. Like, when I first started playing Destiny with... Dave and his wife Katie and a bunch of our other mates but I picked a hunter straight away and I had golden gun spec on it for god knows how long I think I only changed off golden gun when they introduced the the night stalker spec with the, the bow shot that pins everything in place run again. There we go. Yeah, Dave loved his warlock. He loved his uh, cheeky res after he died with it. And Katie always played a Titan as well, but yeah, I was always on Hunter, always. Oh, look, you can see them all being launched in.
Right, start time again, I think. Can't be frozen. Nah, apparently not. And is immune shield bearers. That'd be you. Crossplay. Oh, crossplay. Cool. Yeah, your res saved our ass a few times in those raids. piling in the enemies now, aren't they? Right, where's the commander hiding? Strange artifact included in your victory spoils. Zavala will want to hear about this. We got. No way, you're 1210, 1228. I could do with an SMG for a while. Get rid of. False promises, I never used that thing anyway. CQC. Yeah, we'll go. And get rid of that one. Right, let's go and see this new command center then, shall we? Hold you for now. Let's 
Season pass active. Oh yeah. Free loot from the season pass. So first, triumphs. Oh yeah, so I can use my dredging title. Oh, that's just for using auto rifles and stuff. Um... Seek to update from Crow. That's the one we want. We've still got all these to do at some point. And then... Season pass, free shit. So... You are the new exotic weapon, what are you? Hip firing this weapon fires multiple tracking projectiles. Targets marked by these projectiles explode upon death or when struck by another sacred flame's explosion. Causality arrows. Aiming down sights cause sacred flames to instantly detonate. Straight fletching. Ooh, ooh. We'll have a look at that. And then re armor. Helmet looks a bit weird, rest of it looks alright. But, thanks to the fancy transmog system, I can do this. Oh, it's the cloak that does the top of it. Right, that we can fix. Uh, Mega Macros. Cows. Vanguard there. Yeah, we'll go for that one for now. 1218. Welcome aboard the Helm, Guardian. The hub for emergency logistics and maneuvers. Mm -hmm. Here you will find the assets and information you need to complete our most time-sensitive operations. We'll continue upgrading this space as situations in the system evolve. So check in often to get the latest developments. I wonder if anybody's started looking into, like, secrets on these, because they always hide something on monitors like this. This. Warriors of the Empire, I see your fury. For years you have waited for your leaders to reclaim you. But time has not changed your nature. Your rage becomes the swing of the cleaver, the thrust of the shield, the shout of the cannon. Right, what's down here? It's the old table. War table has a notification from Osiris. Impressive work, Guardian. You'll get a full briefing soon, but in the meantime, let me fill you in on that cabal artifact you picked up on Ness. It's known as the Bell of Conquests. I've attached a reading with more details, but in short, by claiming that bell, you've officially declared yourself challenger to the Cabal Empire. Keitel's commanders won't stop coming for you until they see you buried and the bell retrieved. We made a bold move, but I believe we can use it to our advantage. We'll talk more soon. So this will be our artifact for this season. Disrupting the cabal on Nessus. I wish that was the end of it. But unfortunately, it's just the beginning. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation went as well as you might expect. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other leaderless cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander and Osiris will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter. 
Crow to be your always, Crow will be a nice surprise. Will provide air support. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the soul system. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Good luck. So, Crow is pretty cool. Uh, defeating Commander Drakkar's assault of the Cabal to push on Nessus. It's not the Vanguard's other concern. Cabal over the Soul System is starting to fight for Keitel's attention. Hoping to earn a CNO war cancel. This can't be allowed. Osiris has devised a strategy for rebuffing the Imperial Cabal incursion. Without total open war, Keitel is using an ancient Cabal tradition known as the right of proving to select her war council from Red Legion commanders to bring them back into the fold. Any challenger may approach these rights. Vanguard High Command directs Guardians to engage any and all prospective war council appointees. With each disrupted right, we send fractures through their empire's authority. So meet Osiris and Crow near the war table. The tower's helm. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Crow is pretty much the new Hunter Vanguard. Um, he's not officially because he's not done the challenge or anything, but he's been helping everybody out. And he might be a bit of a surprise for those of you who've not seen him before. Now, where is he? Oh, there he is. Glint chose the materials. So there's a Cyrus. You haven't let me pay for any of this. Cyrus is cool. Cyrus is a warlock. And this is Crow. It will protect you from the city's ignorance. I know what it's for. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets under disguise. He looks a little bit familiar. Now I am well. Soon you shall be too. And he wears a mask for a very good reason. Because he is Aldrin. He's the guy who shot Cade. They think their tank is a show of strength, but it is no Iron Lord. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Examples. Yeah, Dave. He died when we killed him. Or when um, Petra killed him. He died and was buried and left and a ghost came along and raised him as a guardian. But of course when you become a guardian you lose all of your memory of who you were. So he's a completely new person. He doesn't know. Well he knows at this point in the story that he was Aldrin. But he spent like his first year or so. Not knowing that he was older and saw of all the stuff that he'd done. So the Umpral Decoder and Prismatic Recaster has been approved. Quests. Appropriated by the Vanguard and relocated to Helm. Visit the Umbral Decoder to obtain the Decrypt in the Darkness quest and complete it. Yeah, he's still a con, but he's way cooler now because he's a hunter and therefore is automatically cooler so where is the umbral decoder hiding also what were those two things I could get then Ooh, mods I'll get those I've got plenty of mod components so, Umbral Decoder, where are you hiding? Because that was the thing that the... Um... Ah, it's here. <laughs> the Umbral Decoder is something that the guy who runs Gambit made. And it basically allows you to um, decrypt darkness infused stuff. 
So when the Dark Fleet arrived, it changed many things, including engrams. Some of them now behave much differently than before. Cryptarty needs your help in studying these changes. Of all the unlikely sources, it was the Drifter, that's his name, who first created a device for altering umbral engrams. Now the Cryptarchy is using his design as the basis for further research. We'll provide you with the equipment for further research on these umbral engrams. In return, please help us by recording the results of your experiments. Tyra Khan. So when the Black Freak arrived, yada 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 yada. Here's the final prismatic lens remaining from our previous studies. It's quite fragile and we estimate it as a single charge left before it breaks. Take it along with an umbral engram and try the focusing process for yourself. Ta-da! So. Uh, no items available here. Umbral Affinity, uh, Decrypt in the Darkness. Fragile Prismatic Lens, it's a weapon. Now, is it back on this bit or is it on the other side? There we go. Decrypt it. And we get a weapon. Focus of these umbral engrams remains a source of fascination. Potential applications are endless. I'm still wary of interacting so closely with the darkness, but we can no longer avoid it. You think the Dark Fleet is attempting to communicate through these lenses and engrams? There's still so much to learn. Turn to Helm with any prismatic lenses and umbral engrams and we'll continue our research together. And we get a fancy new. Prismatic lenses. Ah, right, so you need to use the lenses to focus the engram into the kind that you want. So we'll have... Yeah. Well, you can see that one there will be... If you want one of these, so say you want worldly weapons. On world engram, legendary shards. So I can already do those ones. Season of the Chosen stuff, weapons, armor. That one just gives armor, that one just gives weapons. And then if you want to specialize on something, you've got to do one of these. So if you specifically want a helmet or gloves or something, you do these and it lets you focus into them using the lenses. That's cool. Ah, it's a fusion rifle. Do not like fusion rifles. And we'll put you in storage, because I like my uh, crucible one. So, where's next? Yeah. It lets you um, basically pick the kind of loot that you want. Like, you have to earn certain ones. So like the higher tier ones will let you specifically pick like a uh, gear based on speed or gear based on recovery but it's handy like if you're missing a decent helmet you can tell it to make you a helmet so let's go see saladin again and see what he says the dragon of your light roars over nessus our enemies fear you guardian Osiris mentioned you crashed a cabal ritual they call the Rite of Proving. He seems to think it's not unlike our crucible, made for settling scores. I don't see the resemblance. Scraps of the Red Legion are competing to earn Keitel's favor. Just like her, their hands are tied by tradition. They're forced to meet every challenger or forfeit their position. So we're going to challenge them. Exploit that. I want you to run down every Cabal commander you can find. If they're foolhardy enough to accept a fist fight with you, Keitel's War Council won't fill a single seat. I do like this little hologram thing they've done as well. Crow has spotted another of the Empress's hopefuls on Europa. They call him Basilius the Golem, 
He's looking for Golden Age relics to excavate from the ice. <sighs> Basilius intends to augment his body and offer combat enhancements to other Cabal. If he succeeds, it won't be long before Keitel has an entire platoon of Exo Legionaries at her disposal. Get in the way. So yeah, we found out last season. Uh, we went to Europa. On Europa, there is a... Uh, like a research base. That's what I was trying to think of the word for. And in this research base was Braytech. And it was in fact where Braytech made the Exo. And you find out that the the Exo are all made using the darkness. Like they have this thing where you you could make a an Exo body easy enough, but if you put somebody's brain into it, they freak out. But if you included uh, like little bits of the darkness, it helped. Is that where I need to go? Yeah. If you included bits of the darkness, it helped them stay sane because it basically include started introducing random errors, which people have in their brain anyway from neurons dying and stuff. And because this facility has been found, it's found they found out you can make EXO of pretty much any race as long as you design it well enough. But Exo still have the problem of, because they're a machine, it doesn't regen infinitely. So, because you're writing over and over the same hard drive again, it it degrades over time until you have to reboot. Darkness imprisoning me, all that oh. I see, absolute horror. <gasps> Dave, coming in with Metallica references. But yeah. So somebody came up with a theory, I think even in back in Destiny 1, that the number after an EXO's name is how many times they've been rebooted. And they lose bits each time. So like Cade 6 has been rebooted 6 times. But we've also got the Gunsmith. Whose name I always forget. It will probably say on one of my quests, because I'm sure I've got quests where I speak to him. Um... It's Banshee 44, I think he's called. So Banshee has been rebooted 44 times. Banshee is actually a nickname. It's not his real name. He was actually like the original Bray. Like the guy who founded Braytech. Can't wait for Destiny 2 Christmas special. Destiny TA3. <gasps> Boy, Sherry. I need to get used to using SMGs again now. Hip fire it. Right, let's have a look at this fancy new exotic bow. But yeah, Banshee is the original Bray, Clovis Bray. He made Bray Tech, he invented the Exos. And he did it purely because he wanted to be immortal. Okay, this bow is pretty cool. Hit fire it to track, aim at them to make them explode. <gasps> oh, Katie. Yeah, I prefer scout rifles when I can get them. And there's an engram. Ooh, it turns straight into helmet. Throw it. You missed. Rubbish. Right, kill this thing. I'll do it.
but yeah, always scout rifles for me when I can get them. I've actually got multi-tool on me, but it needs upgrading a bit before it'll be useful. I never much liked Vision of Confluence. My favourite one in Destiny 1 was... <laughs> he did exactly what I did in the intro quest. Yeah, the one I really liked in Destiny 1 was... One you actually got from Dead Orbit. And it was like a, a high stability one because it was one of the Omelon ones. Like the ones with the weird bubbles on the side. And it had a perk called Dragonfly. Which was the whole... The enemy explodes when you kill them thing. But it was more powerful than the normal Firefly one. Come here, you... Right, where's this one going? Up here. Ah, uh, the weapon I loved most. And this Destiny one that everybody loved. Was the hand cannon from the raid. The one that you got from the Templar. Everybody loved that thing. Yeah, my golden gun was bought in Destiny 1 as well. Although they did bring back like how powerful the uh, that exotic helmet was that turned it into a single shot. So I have that on this character as well if I want to switch it up. What was the helmet called? There you go, Celestial Nighthawk. Golden Gun fires one high damage shot. Like, that one shot some bosses and strikes is silly. There we go, let's freeze this lot, shall we? And yeah, that's the the darkness-based supers. 
like they're all about zone control, but it's almost as good as the the Night Stalker one that pil pins them all down. Look at this. Picking apart the Vex like carrion birds. It's pathetic. There is no glory in what the Cabal are seeking here. Just desperation. Agreed. Now we head further into all the Vex stuff. Oh yeah, this place is entirely Clovis Bray's fault as well. Like, he was experimenting with Vex technology. And he was running out of samples to get because they were hard to find back then. So he made his own Vex gate, which is down at the end of this place, because he's a Muppet. And of course he made a Vex gate so all the big Vex start coming through. And all his guards got their asses handed to them. Yeah, of all the stupid things to make, he made a Vex gate. And that's why you ended up with that place. This legion's champion is near, Guardian. Perform the right of proving. Call him out and show him the power of the light. Fight. Right. He's supering. I will wait until I can see the boss to use mine. Uh, you got frozen in air. Oh, there he is. Right, he's in stages. Oh, it's gonna be another beat the shield guys again, isn't it? Get frozen. Them orbs. There. Sword time. Yeah, you can see from the way his health went down there, the sword does a silly amount of damage when you start chaining its hits together. Oh, the boss has run away. Is he? No. Still there. Gotch. 
position. Cool thing about these as well, you can usually climb on them. We should send in another team Loot. to do a second sweep. Today's survivor is tomorrow's enemy. Did the Vanguard not ah. have the held policy on offering quarter to fleeing enemies? The Vanguard asked an Iron Lord to lead their forces. If they did not wish me to fight like an Iron Lord, they should have asked someone else. Mm -hmm. While I agree, I can't help but wonder if your disregard for their codes of conduct may cause friction. Friction is conflict. Conflict breeds strength. They know this. Or they should. In my experience, what the Vanguard should know, and what they actually know, are not always the same. You speak the truth, Warlock. My only hope is that they have not forgotten the Battle of Twilight Gap. And the lessons learned there. Right, where's next? Back to the war table. Infamy for the taking. Ah, oh, it's a uh, thingy week. Gambit week. So we got ritual combat in battlegrounds. Guardian distress signal. That's going to be an exotic quest. Unblind grams. The new strike. And season class. Yeah. Guardian distress beacon cuts through the system. Locate the source of the signal. Investigate the disturbance. Yeah, I've got stasis. Oh, these are literally just like XP boosters and stuff. And I've already missed week one. Ah, well. You get bright dust from them as well. Right. Um... Artifact. What do you have? Overload bow. Unstoppable anti barrier. We'll take you. Scout and sniper targeting and scout loader. I almost have all these. So I've got multi kills using Temper Strike and then the three new ones. And I have all the other Hunter stuff done. That's for this season. And we got some lore stuff as well. Oh, that's the thing I just got. There we go. Those things are handy, the upgrade modules. They're a lot what let you infuse armor. So I can grab my higher level stuff and make my... What's the quest I'm still waiting for on there? Protector 2... Uh, I know what that is. So let's head back to the tower. Because there's stuff I want. Oh yeah, Amanda Holiday has my Twitch Prime stuff as well. So the game does have um, a mix-in for Thingy Prime, if you've got it, Twitch Prime. And they give you old exotics and stuff like that for, basically for free.
Twitch Prime. Yeah, Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime, you say? So let's see what cool stuff Amanda Holiday's got for me. Because I have still been claiming them even when I've not been playing. <gasps> what painting are you doing on them? And Katie, if you're still watching, you should join our Discord so you can see all the cool nail art stuff that Manu does. You'll like it. So she's got Graviton Lance, and a skin for it, a Cosmos Shell. Ooh. Ghost Protector and the ship. Oh, it's giving me just here to admire the Ooh. tats or Graviton Lance. It's even given me. Yeah. We shall take that one of those. She says this is our new priority. So I will dismantle this because I'm not going to use it because I like the ones that I've got. Guardian, I would this is Avalon Horse, so this is the other one we got. Hunter buddies just sat down in Bay 5 with a cargo full of something that's screaming and oozing and burning holes in my deck plates. A little busy. You don't like that ship. That ship can go away. Everyone gather round. Objection. So go and put a couple of things in the vault, shall we? Yeah, you should have a look at our Discord a bit, Katie. We've got a few artists in there now. Like, we've got Kira, who's been doing drawing and stuff on stream. She drew Manu's Cockatoo Mellow recently. Um, I, I post some of my origami stuff in there. Manu posts some of her drawings and her nail stuff in there. Right, you go in the bank. You go in the bank. You go in the bank. Adored will have to go in the bank for now, and so will Salvations until we get some decent upgrades. Same with these. These are getting replaced quickly, and why did I just put that in the bank? See, the trick is with these, the way they do drops now, it's based on what's in your inventory. So you don't need to just swap stuff out. You just wear your, you just put the highest level stuff on. And then, like that. And when you're up to the maximum, you can just infuse it straight into your old stuff and get all the benefits of it. So, we shall be keeping Icarus Drifter. I knew it. Yeah, we might swap out Icarus Drifter at some point if I ever get hold of the anti-extinction ones, because that's the Dead Orbit stuff, and the Dead Orbit stuff I really like. But for now, we shall keep a hold of them. <laughs> She post some of yours on there, Katie. I got, uh, I convinced Dave to post a couple of his etchings and stuff. Cause they're all really good. Right. So we 
gonna see Banshee, weren't we? What if you got Banshee? Let's get you back out there. Catalyst for that bow. Don't remember getting it. <laughs> there we go. What else does he have? Let's get started. Uh, messy business. Oh, this is the seasonal weapon. Grenade launcher. Crucible gambit strikes. Bonus points for like good gambit. Um, that's where Helm is, that's where we need to go. Right, to the new area. Uh-oh. Error code weasel. What were these? Oh, they were from me playing Devil May Cry the other day. No internet connection detected. What are you on about? Oh, is it my Xbox beam? Yeah, it is. Nah, it's just my Xbox. It doesn't like being the spot that we're in. We've not got that good Wi-Fi anywhere. <laughs> yeah, connection itself seems to be alright, it's just my Xbox being funny. Jump onto my hunter again. Right. Take me to the helm. There we go, it's launching. In the meantime. There. So that's the one I'm tracking. So I need another 249 multi kills to get that. But what legacy ones do I have? Got Dawn. I think I've just got Dawn and the Gambit one. As you approach the table, you notice the ceremonial hammer retrieved from your last mission. A warm golden light radiates out from the mouth and eyes of the cabal face sculpted into one head of the hammer as though a fire burns inside. It was an offering, Osiris says, from behind you. From the Red Legion to Keitel, the Cryptarch can provide more nuance about its history, 
but what matters is its purpose, a symbol of cabal, culture, power, entitlement. One you now wield. Osiris spreads his hands and says, Master the hammer and forge yourself a path to victory. Forge challenger medallions from Cabal Gold to challenge Keitel's chosen warriors in battlegrounds. Hammer must be equipped to acquire Cabal Gold. Yeah. And this is our new challenger system. Cool. So, I check. Where will it be? Not a weapon, is it? Doesn't look like it. Right, where do we want to go then? Wield the hammer of proving to pillage cabal, called by completing playlist strikes, gambit, crucible, public events, yada yada yada. Spies at the end of season 15. Is it just automatically equipped? Is it one of those things where they've just worded it funny because it's a seasonal thing? I think it is. Right. We got another engram. So. Active season. I need a hammer charge for it. Cheeky. And these are things you pick up. Right, let's just see what we get out of the egg round then. If it's anything like last season, we'll be rolling in these things, these ones soon. Well, it's already done. So we need to do strikes, gambit, everything else. You need energy from Combatants and Guardians. You're any of the three. You're going to visit Farrix. Um, any of these useful? Your Lost Lament. Should we go and play around in Gambit for a bit then? Um, Seventh Seraph. We'll leave Graviton on for Gambit. We'll leave Guillotine on, but we will swap you for Arc Strider. We shall go do a bit of Gambit then. Uh, first, I will go and see my old friend the Drifter, see if he's got any quests for it. He probably will, because he always does. Gambit is my favourite mode. Well, I enjoy messing around in the ca in the Crucible, but Gambit is easily my favourite. Like that's why I I even have the Gambit title. There. Complete all Gambit Triumphs. Those ones are blocked out because they're like... It resets at the end of each season. But I've done all the other stupid ones. Including my favourite. As an invader, defeat four opposing guardians in a single invasion. I've done that 11 times. So, 
Tempestuous is Tempest Strike, which is the slide, I think. Yeah, it's the silly uppercut thing. Right, come on you. What Gambit quests have we got? So there's the old stuff. Snake skin wrap, I can still get that. Oh, there are the cloaks and stuff. I might get a set of these eventually. They look quite cool. So we got challenging combatants, defeat enemies. Summon two prime evils, get five finishers. Right. Into bounty we into the bounties we go. For some gambit. How you living, brother? Feel like showing all of us how gambit's done. So yeah, this just requires sniper rifle kills and stuff in Gambit. Tune you up by getting sniper rifle final blows rapidly defeating combatants and depositing notes as a team in Gambit. So team stuff counts for it as well. They've added new gambit music. Today. Cabal on the field. It's time to bang knuckles. Red Legion. Right. These low lives took the tower from you, right? Make them bleed. Transmat pride. Give me those moats and I'll make you rich, brother. I promise. Now, let's see if I'm still any good at this. What they've done now with Gambit is... They've shortened how it works. So it's not the same as the original Gambit. Like, enemies are more powerful. But it is just one round now. It is just a race to who wins. And Graviton Lance doesn't seem to be that good for this. Hi, Bear. Wave at the ruins. 
two more, I always go for ten if I can, because that is the most annoying blocker to send to the other side. Okay, and our team's done all right on the other side, though. Dropped one guy. We seven. High value target. Burn it down. Your allies back, and they tore five guardians apart. There's the high value. Hostiles at the trees. All gonna be coming this way any second. down at the beach as well. Um, to get the easy one, or try to. We are doing alright, we're still ahead. I am just not being very useful this match. Search, shall we? Um, we'll go for the fusion rifle, even though I don't really like them. Saw you. Well, that sniper got him straight off. This is going to be a super situation, get us the last few in a rush. So. Bank it before he kills me. Got him. No, I only throw when Kev's on our team. It's a race. Your allies invade. 
So, first of all, pick out the envoys. Our sniper seems pretty decent. Right. Give me some of that heavy, please. All the other boys are down. Perfect. Drill him now until he's dead. Just keep an eye out for the invader. Give me some of these. Thank you. There we go. What a haul! I promise you, I'll do something. Special. Yeah, I did not do, do do too well that time. Just ignore that bit. Right, what do we got? Got another fusion rifle. Get rid of these because I can get these again whenever I like. And we shall infuse you into you. So. How much more do we need for this quest? Oh, I've already half done. So we've got five finishers, summon another primeval, and that's just going to be win another match, isn't it? Fighting scorn. Be notorious. I don't scare, but when it comes to the scorn, I bring an extra gun just in case. Trans 
bad fire. Give me those moats and I'll make you rich, brother. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, ten straight away. <gasps> I will show that at the end of my stream, Dave. Right. This way. least 10 let's go and bank see this one is always a good one to use a super on if anybody's got one because all the enemies bunch up in this area. Like it makes it more dangerous to kill them, but you can also just rinse your way through all at once. Oh, somebody was already there. Perfect. Let's stick another one over just so they've got the drain on. And run popping up on the enemy side. Good. And then take out the high value because that's like 15 free marks. It's executing. There we go, 15. Let's drop a big boy down. And our guy on the other side just wiped out. Nice. Right, this is another super time. Because... Quick finish. E massacre medal, everybody's favourite. It's the big eye boy.
Or was he being shielded from? Ah, oh, they've got it. Oh, there he is. Enemy invader death. Ah, we're still miles ahead. Your allies Do, 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 do. Just drill it now until it's dead. And it's dead. Dance time. Nice work. They're gonna talk about that fight all the way over in the Tangled Shore. Soon as a tell. <laughs> there we go, I did much better that time. Twenty-nine thirty-one. 36 32 Yeah, as long as it's a void one We went up a bunch of infamy ranks as well So we will go and see the drifter and see what he's got to say We do. Do we finish any more of those bounties? We did. All this stuff. Right, to the tower. We'll get some Eververse stuff. Then we'll see what the Drifter has for me for ranking up. And yeah, I do have almost all of the exotics, there's only a few that I'm missing. Bum, bum. Right. Eververse. 
See if we get anything cool from it. <gasps> I got the mic drop emote. What else have we got here? Um, so I've got like 2,000. I don't have that yet, so I will get it. I shall continue the tradition of getting all the dances. See, these are all silver, so I'm not going to get any of these. Bright dust. We'll get you, because I don't have you yet. And we'll get you, because I don't have you yet. Yeah, I always try and collect all the shaders and all the dances just so I've got all of them ready to use. But I got the mic drop emote this time, didn't I? Let's have a look. Where is it? There. That's cool. And then the dance. Now let's go and see what the drift has got. Thanks for shopping Eververse, Guardian. Do 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 do. How you living? Give me them engrams. So we got a new cape. The only thing that matters is the hand holding uh, not as good as what I've got. There's some new gloves. Also not as good as what I've got. Drifty or rubbish. Right. Now what did I need to do for this quest? Cabal gold socket this Hammer of Proving is ready. Challenger Prospective Commander and Pillage Keitel stuff. Yeah, the dances are cool. I've got tons of the dances. <laughs> Right, um, boom. right, that's the one I've got on at the moment, which is the breakdancing one. And then we've got Wacky Flailing Tube Man. Do the drifter's coin trick. Some of the dances in this are terrible. Right, um, so now we need to pillage a cabal tribute. Blood soul, gold, custom during the year of conquest. Conquer worlds are enriched to use defeat and afford the opportunity to challenge officers for representation within Cabal's leadership. I do have the perfect emote for me as well, even though I've not got it equipped at the moment. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Ta-da! He does origami. Right, so where do we need to go? Is this really a vanguard one?
Battlegrounds playlist may be found in direct or under Vanguard missions. <gasps> so it's a new playlist. Right, well, we'll do this battleground and then I will jump off. One to three players, co op. I should have checked what those modifiers were actually. So we've got barrier champions, unstoppable champions, extra grenades and void singe. So I don't believe I have any anti-barrier stuff. Not at the moment anyway. Um your overload. Unstoppable Pulse Rifle, Anti-Barrier Scout. I don't have a Scout Rifle on me. Um, do I have anything for the Unstoppable? Unstoppable Pulse, wasn't it? Yeah, Pulse and Hand Cannon. So, we'll get you. the pulse rifle on. Hi Alex! Yeah, Subnautica's being funny. I think my save corrupted. So I need to grab one of the backups. Nah, it's just a one-off while I'm doing this. So, where has my unstoppable mod gone? Or is it the weird arms one again? Yeah, it is. Anti barrier, unstoppable pulse rifle. Battleground Oracle. Wait. Yeah, I've got backup saves because it is a game still in development, so I made backups just in case, but something in the new one crashed it. So I will check when I have my backup saves later, see if I can get it to load. But yeah, this is just a one-off. So they had new story stuff, so... Oof. I'll just cartwheel everywhere. And head this way. So this is where I'm supposed to be. the rest of my team hiding. Ah, it's over here.
The other guy's a Dune fan. Russell Mordeeb. Yeah, I still keep up with Destiny. This is... Uh, it's just this season that I've not played so far. So this is like my introduction to it. This is all the intro stuff. This is like the new thing they've introduced for this season called Battlegrounds. It's basically like a like a horde mode going through different areas. Boom. around a bit. Disruptor. That needs taking out quick. Me you. This is tougher than I thought it would be. Got a champion as well now. Where's the champion gone? Gotta be him on there, won't it? Now, yeah, what kind are you? Um, I've got some. They're in my bank at the moment. Like some of them are outdated now, so they need upgrading. We need to wrest control of the defense network from them. Like one of my favourite weapons was from one of those quests, but is now outdated. See, it'll be in my collection still. Um. Weapons, scare rifles. But I think we all know that wisdom. Randy's throwing knife is one of those weapons. An ironic observation. And it's a rapid fire um, scare rifle. And it automatically comes masterworked when you get it as well. But fortunately, it's outdated now. I need to get the updated version. <laughs> I think I've got chaperone, you know. Oh, these are the new Vex enemies. So these guys are shielded. How do we take the shields down? Go 
because at the moment they're just immune. And they're going to wreck us. Is it this guy? It is. It's going to throw something at him, isn't it? Right. There we go. Need to look for another one of those Cabal guys to break their shield. Come on, where are you? That sounds like one of them coming in. Perfect. Ooh. Yeah, they've got a couple of mean abilities. Like, they can shield other units nearby. They've got a rush attack, and they buff other units nearby as well. Like, they have a melee buff, and straight up regular goblin will one-shot you with a melee attack if they're buffed. They've also got like a rush attack. the barrier guy we needed to fight and I don't have an anti-barrier weapon on me let's rush him right. taking down the three harpies what else do we need to do intercept excel the far reaching This way. Yeah. Yeah, they're um they're basically a cross between like a servitor and the Colossus that the Cabal use. They're like the heavy unit, but they also buff stuff around them. We grab left. Their back is against the wall. There is nowhere left to run, and the pack closes in. This commander Let's go. Is to greatness, and now they will be reduced to little more than a memory. It is 
You're the boss, you're a scion, aren't you? Yes. Come here. Stop running away, bitch. That did bugger all to him. caught by one of those attacks before. Don't forget your scion! I didn't, I punched it! Well you obviously didn't because we all died, didn't we? Two men in it. We're supposed to be three people. Oh, I got another barrier mod one. Oh, he took it out. Nice. point for them. It is a challenge zone. Um, this is where you rescue Cade on one of the missions. He gets trapped here in a bubble. He gets trapped like over there in a bubble and you've got to beat a Hydra to free him. Hi Brina! Right, so we actually have to go in that inside that bubble to fight him because he won't come out. So let's get super up and do it. In fact, he's almost at a point, isn't he? Um, he's heavy for it. There we 
go, he's got immune again. And he's got a shield bearer. Kind of shield bearer are you? I can't get a lock in. Unstoppable, just what I needed. Right, Brina, she plays a lion, she don't have to watch. <laughs> right, so he's put up his little arena again. Our friend Moadib has gone in for his super. Got him. Nice. And we got loot. So we get this loot. I pick right. The Cabal do not weave magic, unless you count their grasp of technology as sorcery. But I can see where something like a prediction engine blurs those lines. They wish to enact change on the future by knowing it. They are not the only I could do a barrel roll, will you know? If I get to an area where I can do it. Be better served studying the past if they wish to control the future. It is no different than a duel. You watch your opponent for tells that indicate what they will do next. Not because you can see the future, but because you've studied the past. Their <laughs> style, their form, predictability. That is a level of insight I did not know you capable of. That is also why they will fail. Right. To orbit. To the war table. And then we shall find somebody to raid. Oh, what did I get off that? Did I get any weapons or anything? Ugh, got a sidearm. This can go. Got another fusion rifle. Got some boots. Some arms. Got an engram. Right. <laughs> Need six people for a red Brino. Unfortunately, I've not got that of any. Seasonal challenges. There. So, hammer up been charged. Go to the war table. And we'll find out what's in that engram as well.
Uh, engram first. Just in case I get something that I can get rid of this sidearm for. So I cannot stand sidearms. Ooh, I can direct the engram. Then I will. Um. I'm just proving, oh, I've got to go and hand this in first. Another notification from Osiris present on the war table. It's working, Guardian. Each challenge you issue sends another fracture through the Cabal's confidence in Keitel's leadership. Unruly systems have broken Cabal leaders before. Keep pushing and do remember to take the spoils of your triumph. By Cabal law, those offerings belong to you now. Maybe you can make something from them with that hammer you're wielding. Right. So let's focus an engram and make something cool. So what can I focus it into? Um, season the chosen weapons. We will do. And we will do a worldly weapon as well. And now decrypt them. And give me something cool. We've got Rocky Launcher, you will do. And quite a decent sniper rifle. Snapshot. Iron cartridge. You've got unrelenting and surplus. There we go. So this is all this handed in, so we shall be ending the stream now. And we shall look for somebody to... to raid. In the meantime, I will show you what Dave made as well. Because Dave has been drawing some fan art, because he's a big simp. When I get it so it shows on screen. There. It's what Dave's been drawing while he's been watching. <laughs> so, has anybody got any uh, suggestions of where to raid? Or anybody to raid? And yeah, Kelly, I did see your redemption. The name of the town is Clanvaya Pohwingi Kogeru Windrobo Clanticilio Gogogoch. So. <laughs> right, let's see who's on, shall we? Ah, Konatat is online. They've not been online for a while, so we'll go and say hello. So, everybody be good. Because Kona has not been on for quite a while. So, be nice everybody. 
and I will see you all Saturday. Kona is playing Valheim as well, so I'm sure some of you will get a kick out of that, watching her die horribly. But yeah, I will see you all Saturday for some Dark Souls. So we're slowly getting there, we should be able to get another boss down on Sat. well another big boss down on Saturday. Um, I am still trying to find a random third day in the week to stream. I will come up with one eventually. But I shall see you all soon. And bye bye everybody.